Oh, it is so good to be back, sort of. And boy, was it great to have number 11 back on the field. Charles Moore's first game in the regular season, sort of. Jamboree action for your Louisville Wildcats taking on Starkville High. One more tune-up before we get it all started. And the defense looked like it was in mid-season form on a Saturday night. Darius Hopkins blowing up the inside handoff run right there. The defense would then turn to offense. Deontay Yarbrough pulling on the read option, picking up a good gain and a first down. The offense, though, would not get the first score of the game. It would be the defense coming up big, and it was Kadarius Dixon being the ball hawk all game. Off the deflection, he gets the interception, and you are so not catching him. All the way to the end zone for the touchdown. Louisville takes a 7-0 lead. A little more defense after that. How about a tip drill? This is why you practice this in the offseason. Right on it, John Tavis Garnett taking it back the other way. Starkville would catch him inside the five-yard line, but no matter, Garnett would set up your power cats with great field position and a great spot to finish it off with points. And sure enough, they would on a third and goal. Deontay Yarbrough pulling on the read option. He can waltz his way into the end zone for the score. It is 14-0 Louisville. After one quarter, back to defense in the second quarter, Ashanti Sistrunk was in on just about every play, and so was, so was his partner in crime, Jakevious Hippler. Man, Red was everywhere on the field on a Saturday night. Let's go back to the offense. A little aerial attack here. Tay to Dre, Deontay Yarbrough, Dre Shoemaker. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And then a little on the ground here, Kevon Jackson. They're saving him in some of his big plays for the regular season, you can imagine. Stretching this one out, picking up a good gain along the sidelines. That would set up Elijah Wilkes. 38-yard field goal. Now, no contact here, but you still got pressure. You still got to make it. That would have been good for about 45. Lewis was up 17-0 in the second quarter. And a little more defense. Even when Starfield got tricky, Kadarius Dixon was going to be there. Remember, he had the pick six. He had that big tackle right there. And then a big blow-up hit right there. Now, when it got interesting, defense had to make a couple plays down the stretch. And here's Charles Moore, and here's the reason why he's one of the best players in the country, blowing up read option play all on his own. Your Louisville Wildcats coming out as winner 17 16. A couple former cats on that Starkville staff. Give him some handshakes and high fives. And we are ready to roll for Navarre, our first game of the year coming up Friday, August 17th, down in Florida. We hope you can join us in the Sunshine State.